Petra Kucha 285, Seven Demon uh, comic book issues, 2 and 3 thumbnail storyboarding. So I'm just going to show you a bunch of scribbles and explain why I'm showing you a bunch of scribbles. Uh, I spent this week trying to basically turn my written word plot synopsis of my manga book uh, into a very, very quick, very, very loose series of comic book issues drawn um, with nothing more than thumbnail sketches so I can actually figure out the dialogue, the pacing, if the ideas I've had fit, if the entire thing is readable, um, and if I even like how the whole thing is working. So the idea was supposed to be this is two weeks to do ten issues. The art is not important. It's the positioning of the panels. It's what's happening in the panels. It's, it's the page by page breakdown of my plot synopsis. Does it fit um, both in terms of is, are these things good ideas and do my are my ideas too ambitious or not ambitious enough to fill uh, these issues of comics and I do want to try and get a little bit of a cliffhanger every 20 pages because that's something I've seen certain mangas do and really this book isn't about what I it's not about telling the best story I can it's about telling a shonen manga story um, openly mocking some of the stereotypes but actually sticking to some of the others so it's supposed to be like a send up kind of like One Punch Man but it's not spiteful it's it's more like a roast um how is it going well it's <laughs> it's been harder than i thought it would be i thought the hard part was coming up with the stuff i wanted to stick into the plot but actually because what i'm actually doing now is actually legitimately writing the book as it will be read there's a very big um dichotomy between the ideas in my head and then how i get them to be read by the viewer and if I think that I manage to maintain the value of those ideas. Because fundamentally, what do I need to do? I need to show you characters that are interesting so that you care what happens to them. That's the only reason you turn the next page. Um, and I, this this is a great example, this double page spread of me not wanting things to be too wordy, but also needing to bloody well explain uh, the motivations of the characters so you, you bother. Um, there's definitely... It's a, it's a it's a delicate balance, uh, you know. I have to tell you stuff. Some it's better to show than tell, but sometimes words are what you need when you're talking about people's internal motivations. And also, um, after I finish doing this thumbnail sketch collection for the entire book, then I'm actually going to bloody well decide on the design, decide on the designs for the characters. And go do a load of research for how I want the world building to be. You know, this is basically, it's supposed to be kind of a stock manga thing. It's like it's feudal Japan, but it's not actually Japan. But it should be, it should really come off as Japanese. The Japanese is a Westerner like me can do. Um, there have been a few pages of this where every single panel has been a struggle. Because I know I've got like, I've got three pages left. And I want two characters to come off in a certain way without me forcing it um, so that people understand some of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes, some of the, the long form storytelling that's not even going to be resolved in this book, but it needs to be acknowledged, signposted and at least hinted at. Um, and there is also the fact that while this art is rudimentary because I'm supposed to be completely okay with throwing it all away and starting again if it doesn't serve my purpose, even I struggle to read some of these things. That's why sometimes there's a bit of red or a bit of green because I'm just trying to block out the shapes so I know. So these these are just basically things for me to look at in the future and go, oh, I remember what I was going to do. You know, this issue is issue th three where um, the main character and his cohorts are fighting a couple of monsters, but I haven't even determined if the monsters are like just big bears or if they're actual demons or what. Um, this is as vague as I can make it with the hope that I can do it as fast as possible and, and, and really focus on that pacing. Um, I don't know if it's going to be harder towards the end when I have even less room to fit stuff in or this is the hard carry at the start. I did also do uh, a bison earlier in the week as I, as I like to do. I thought, let's put M. Bison in his own custom Iron Man suit. Why? Um, actually, because what I really wanted to do was an M. Bison picture that was detail-orientated. Sometimes 
these bison pictures are just like, oh, well, you know, if I've read a Batman book, let's have something to do with Batman. Um, I remember watching uh, one of the mangakas I'm subscribed to. He just he was just adding mech detail to like this picture, and he was just making it up as he was going along because he'd done it so many times. And it's like you'd be amazed what you can get away with just by. I, I how do you explain it? Putting down lines that are reminiscent, semiotic of things that people recognize like something i've i've really thought is good for like drawing mecha design is double lines like iron man art does this all the time um effectively you are denoting the space between two solid pieces of you know polymer alloy or metal or whatever um, and you will read that as the viewer as being the appropriate mechanical des detail you would see when you're looking at something like that Although iconographically, it's just it's just a, it's just double parallel lines. Uh, I had lost my smiley Saturday watching clips of Joker movie, uh, jo clips of the Joker from movies where the Joker, the guy playing the roles, carried the movies. So Joaquin Phoenix and Joker, which came out last year, or the, well, <laughs> the year before COVID happened, the real last year, um, and Heath Ledger's Joker, uh, and he's he's the big money winner. There's so much going on. And what he's doing you can't just watch these things once and i i own the movie that all these clips came from and i was going to watch the movie after watching all the best bits of the movie because it was that entertaining um i'm not going to do a video essay on why heath ledger's performance is so iconic and uh, interesting but yeah um the le the less gaming i do the more social media fills that gap in my schedule because doing art is hard. And even when this week I've been doing some of the laziest visual representation of ideas, um, because I'm trying to translate so many ideas so quickly, it's, yeah, I kind of thought I'd get a lot more done. But it's it's all moving in the right direction. Me doing this manga book is the most ambitious and difficult thing I've ever set out to do in my life. Not a, not a high bar, but... You know, you've got to start at the bottom and work your way up. So all systems are go. Uh, hopefully we'll get at least to the end of issue 5 or 6 this week. So look forward to more scribbles. That's the end of Petra Kucha 285 and I'll see you next time.